All right, this is the first card in the June 2021 Expressions in Color Paper Pumpkin Kit. You will use the envelope that has just the white base and two little pieces of Blackberry Bliss in it. We're going to make this card. And it's going to use, it's just going to open up, it's going to use one of the cards in the kit right here. So you're going to fold your base in half. We'll get started with that. We're going to get our base down. i got to stick them on my piece of paper here. Then take one of the cards from the kit Oh, kind of look like that. You're going to want to cut it in half. So you have two pieces. Then cut this piece down to four by five and a quarter. And that's going to adhere on the front of that. So go ahead and you can put that on. I don't want that one. Like so. Stick that one down. Then this next piece, this one, you're going to want to cut, punch a hole out of it. So I've got a two inch circle punch. I'm just going to insert it all the way. Oh, maybe I'll, no, I'm going to insert it all the way. Kind of got it lined up with the edge of the punch so that I'm making sure it's where I want it. I'm going to punch that out. Then I'm going to take the square that should be in the envelope, put that in there in the center of your punch. And then I got a two and a half inch square. Oh, I might not have punched it over far enough. Yeah, I did. You're going to line that up around the circle that you just punched like so punch again and then there will be your circle to put on top I took the I'm gonna layer that kind of there where I want it then I've got some blackberry bliss ink and the flower from the stamp set that came in the kit. I'm going to ink that up. You could use black if you only have black. I'm trying to think what colors came in the kit. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Blackberry Bliss. but Then you're going to just stamp that down. i got to find where's my foamy thing. Oops, I want to make sure I want to line that up where I want it. No, I got it all out of whack. I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to stamp my stamp down through the hole, like so. And you can see I went off a little bit, but that's okay, because we're going to cover that up with our circle. So go ahead and just put some glue on your on your circle like so I'm going to cover the opening of our circle like so And you know what else I did on here that, um, oh, I did bring it. I got my Wink Estella that I'm going to do in the, on the flower. 
just for a little bit of sparkle to show through the hole. You could use um, the stamp that came in the kit that kind of looks like a blob and just stamp behind it. That would also just give it a little jazzy look. But I'm going to do it just like that. I'm just going to do the flower. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece. Oh, I've got, oh, got strips here, so I'm going to use these. Maybe put something around your um, the opening hole so that it stays elevated. And I'm having a thought here, guys, that my dimensionals aren't going to be as tall as that stuff I just put down there, that tape that I used. Let me look. I don't think my dimensionals are that tall. No, but that's all right. I'll put one over here. I'm not going to put very many because it is not the same height. I just grabbed what I had near me. Probably wasn't the best idea. I could put two of them on there, I guess. So I recommend you just use your dimensionals. And then stick that down. I think that looks pretty good. Stick that down over the top. Like so. Then you've got the strip in here. And I don't remember what I used for the white. I think I punched a piece out of the center of that when I did it. But we will just stamp on a piece of white paper in Blackberry Bliss with the thanks. What oh, do I have a birthday? I really need a couple birthdays cards. No, no birthday on there, so I'm going to put a thanks down. Like so. Woo, is that baby dark? Then I'm going to take many. We got many in the, uh, the stamp options. I'm going to put many next to it. Many thanks. Wow, that's dark. Must be I uh, inked it after the pumpkin girls were here. Now we're going to cut it. Uh, let's see what I got for my purple. So my purple is half an inch wide. see if I can trim that little rough edge off. See if we can go a half an inch. Well, we'll go right, right above the thanks. Many thanks. Like so. And then we can glue that right on top of our purple paper that we got. Hold on. Put stuff away, but I didn't necessarily, you know, put it away. So we're going to feed our purple strip in and snip. Now let's put our thanks on there just so we could see how much we actually need. We just want it to stick off the end a little bit. Like so. Oops, I just stuck. And then we'll come back in, feed this in through the punch. And punch. Then that gives us the ticket end on both sides. And then I did 
uh, stick this up. I popped it up again, but since these are so high, I'm not going to pop this one up. Um, that's those... Um, And I'm back. Mike hollered because it's raining. It's starting to rain. He's mowing the lawn and he wanted me to shut the window. So I'm going to stick that down like so. And your first card is done. I thought that was pretty cute.